Hey everybody, how are you doing? Hey, my lighting adjustment. Decided to go live with you on this Saturday. Hope you're well, hope you're well. Get everything tuned in here. Today I want to talk about uh, five different ways that you can operate a rental uh, structure. And the reason this is important is because you can add value to other people's rentals. And I want to drive that home. And if you can add value to their rental, that means you can create cash flow for yourself. That's what's so important. What's so important is that you can create enough cash flow to buy a new car or to prove your lifestyle. Nearly everyone can do it in 2018 in the Trump administration. And let me show you how to do it. Now, if you just think of a regular place, a, a one bed, one bath, or a three bed, uh, two bathroom place. These are the, the five different ways you can operate, okay? Whether you own it or not, whether you're renting it or you um, have it under master lease, these are just operations, okay? So the first thing you can do is you can leave it vacant and you're gonna make no money. In fact, you're gonna lose money because you're gonna have to pay for your taxes and your insurance. You know, it costs to leave it vacant. It's, it's painful. Is the a landlord's worst uh, choice for, for what they have to do. But sometimes you have to do that because you don't have any good options. It's better to leave it vacant than it is to get the wrong person in there. I'll tell you that. At least you can sleep. The second thing you can do is traditional landlording. This is what most people do. And after expenses, you can expect about $100 per month, nearly everywhere. Um, just because maintenance cost, you might make a lot of money, you may make $700 of in net income, but you're going to have to paint the place eventually, water heater, roof, all those things take away your profit. So you can expect before taxes that you're going to have about $100 per month if you're lucky as a traditional landlord. Now, the third thing you can do is you can, you can furnish the place. Okay, and, and by furnishing it, you can expect about 30% more than just a vacant unit. Now, it costs money for furnishing, yes. It costs beds, linens, uh, cookware, all that stuff costs. But you can recoup your investment by adding on and passing it on to your tenant. So it's a great option. And by furnishing it, it swings open the doors for a lot more and I'm about to show you that, okay? So 30% more by just furnishing the place. Then the fourth thing you can do is uh, short-term rentals and that includes Airbnb. So you can do short-term rentals on your own through Craigslist, temp housing, all right? And, or you can do Airbnb. Now that the place is furnished, right? You can do short-term rentals, Airbnb, and even there, you can do it for 30 days and longer, which I recommend, or you can do it short-term stays, uh, weekend stays. So if you do that, you can pretty much expect on average three, $300 to $500 additional money, new money, okay? And that alone can pay your car payment, right? Absolutely. So what I'm sharing before I move on is that even if you rented someone else's place, furnished it, and managed it differently than they did, you can make extra money. And that extra money, which I'm sharing with you, is what you use to improve your lifestyle, give you some breathing room, pay down your student loans, uh, pay for a car payment, a lease payment. Hope you get that. Okay, the fifth way you can do to operate the same building is corporate housing. And by corporate housing, I mean renting it to someone who's on a business travel assignment. All right, someone has a business purpose that so they're not there as a tourist. And if you do that, you can expect 600 to $1,000 more. All right, 600 to $1,000 for the exact same place. That's what I'm driving home to you. So if whether you own it and you had all that money for a down payment, or if you rent it from someone else and don't come up with a down payment, by changing how you operate, you can increase how much cash flow you get out of that place. Here I got a question that says, 
You are informational. Oh, good. I'm glad I am because I'm trying. To, I want to affect you guys, especially some of there's a over half of our nation is is, is feeling hopeless under the Trump administration. And you know what? He's a real estate guy. Guess what? <laughs> real estate is safe for you to move into right now. It's the safest time ever for you to move in and take a take a risk for real estate. That's what I'm sharing with you. Okay? So, by changing going from a traditional landlording and furnishing the place and getting business travelers involved, you can make $1,000 a month extra, okay? And they're not gonna want to uh, have you, to see you every day. They're not they're gonna wanna be very passive. So you're looking for people who are on long-term assignments, um, IT professionals, traveling nurses, doctors, clin clinicians, uh, construction workers, construction management, um, engineers, all types of things, emergency services, okay? There's a whole world out there for you. It's just waiting for you. You can take the take a structure, you can operate it as vacant, you can leave it vacant, you can put do traditional landlording, which all of us know, traditional landlording. You can furnish it and do a long-term furnish rental. You can, as it's furnished, you can do Airbnb or just do some type of uh, extended stay um, housing just by not doing long one year leases, doing less than one year leases, okay? And you can flip that and do corporate housing and accommodate business travelers. That's what I'm getting at you. All that stuff, just by doing that, gives you the cash flow to improve your life so you don't have to struggle. You don't have to struggle, but you do have to take action because it's, it's not going to happen on its own. It really is not. I, I am giving you as many tools as I possibly can to help you take small steps to do this and it works because it's working for a lot of people. All right. So I have a resource for you all about how to rent someone else's place and change the use of it so that you can make more money for yourself, okay? It's at leadinglandlord.com forward slash mind map. And I'm gonna leave a link in this video for you. Now, if you are on YouTube, please subscribe. I'm gonna be sharing with you tips. If you're on Facebook, please like this video and share it with your friends if you think it's helpful. Because what I just shared with you is enough so that you can find a business, create a business to pay your student loans, pay off your debts while you um, continue on with your regular life. You have something else besides coming out of your pocket. All right. You have another source of income besides coming from you to pay y your debts. All right. All right. I'll see you next time. Al Williamson signing off.